Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today in this video, we will see about how to design a dropdown using a Kappel script. Open Canalizer, go to Analysis and Simulation, and then Measurement Setup, and then Inside Program Node. Double click the Program Node and then save the file. Now go to the Environment, System Variables, right click and then click on New. Give dropdown as namespace and create a name value. Initial value is 1, Minimum value is 1, and Maximum value is 3 and click on the value table and select custom it is the value table item and define values 1 2 and 3 1 which is a default 2 which is a programming and 3 which is extended now create one more variable for button with name send initial value is 0 minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 1 now click on apply and ok now we need to create a panel go to the panel new panel go Go to toolbox, drag and drop start and stop button, combo box which is a drop down and then uh, drag button. Now click on the combo box and select properties and modify the symbol and modify the name and symbol filter uh, to the variable and symbol to drop down value. And now map the button to drop down send. Now save the panel. Uh, this is the panel. We need to modify the button to send. Go to panel, panel configuration and click on edit. Now change the button name to send and save it. Now when the programming is selected and the button send is clicked, a tensor auto will be sent. And now when the extended is selected and the button send is clicked, now tensor auto will be sent. Now open the capital file. For sending a message, use the function from a previous video and a declare a message keyword. For UDS, modify the byte 0 to 2 because we need to send 2 bytes. Ten service says 2 bytes. Modify byte 1 to 0x10 which is service ID and byte 2 to drop down value which has a sub function from drop down button. To send a message when the button is pressed, use system variable with the symbol drop down send. If the button is pressed, drop down send will be set to 1 automatically. And now call function send so that message will be sent. For sub function, it is from the byte 2 value which is taken from the panel. If it is extended, value 3 will be sent as sub function. Uh, this is a real time example where this drop down or combo box is used in Capel. Thank you for watching the video. Until then, see you next time.